Chris, we are live at the Sydney Football Stadium for this Round 9 clash in the National Rugby League. It is the Sydney Roosters taking on the visiting Newcastle Knights. Adam McDougall, as we've just said, back into the lineup tonight. What a boost he is on the wing. Oh, Davis is the fullback, Tahu and McDougall, the wingers, Matthew Johns and Andrew Johns, the halves, and of course the coach is Warren Ryan. Brad Fittler leads out the Roosters. What an important game as far as their season is concerned. Luke Phillips at the fullback. Shane Rigon has come into the side to replace Richie Barnett, who was out with a corked thigh injury. And also some changes on the bench. Nelson Lommy, Dallas Hood, Robert Miles and Darren Burns make up the four reserves. Tim Mander is the referee this evening. You see the records of the respective teams. And we have time on at the football stadium. Shapes up as an enthralling affair, and I'm sure it's going to go right down to the wire. Luke Rickardson. The lot forward takes it back to the 20 metre line off the kickoff. Fletcher, what a talented player. Of course, an international now. Benetti waits a dummy half. They go to the left hand side. Cusack, oh, shoulder charge there. Peter Shields has come out of this very ordinarily. Has hit the ground and is still laying there on his back. Fitzgibbon now. They go through the hands. Rigon, away to Minicello. Huge collision between Cusack and Shields. Fittler with the kick, driving it low. Will bounce down to the 10 metre line. Oh, Davis is there to field it. Comes the singer, he's tackled inside the 20. Let's take a look again at that tackle. The first one, there's Shields. Cusack just mowed over the top of him. Well, I think you might see that he put his left arm up like that to fend him out. It's got him right on the bugle. Lommy. Playing in his third game in first grade. In this 2000 Premiership, rig on. A knee reconstruction during the off-season. He's come back to good form very quickly after coming back through First Division. A mistake now from the Roosters. They've put it down. Great chance again for the Knights. Matthew Johns to Andrew. Gets through them. Straight pass. Rickardson has support. Gives it to McDougall. Almost pushed dead in goal. In fact, he was. Tremendous last-ditch effort from Matt Singh. Oh, that, in the middle, Brad, in the that was great footy there from Matthew Singh, but I tell you what, Andrew Johns cut him up the middle of the ruck there, running at will, got a beautiful pass out, and you just think from there, he would have scored the try. Oh, right on the line, great work, Matthew Singh. Just inside the Roosters, 20. Five and a half minutes gone, no score at the football stadium. Gidley. A real threat there, well handled though by Rigon. Andrew Johns turns it back to Steve Simpson. Takes it up towards the Roosters 10 metre line. And spread it to the left hand side. Through the Johnsons again. Matthew turns it back on the inside for Kennedy. Five metres out on the last tackle. A poor pass well handled by Andrew Johns. And some pressure coming up for Minicello. Oh flying high to Manitahu the spaceman. He dropped out of the clouds. Tim Mander we'll wants a look at side, it, thanks. but if he's onside, he has scored a spectacular try. Andrew Don just takes his time, and where he's on the wing, he's onside by that. And watch, he's just standing there, Minatelli, got no idea where he's coming from, Tahu, and tremendous jump there, Brett Kenny. And the kid's been in great form, let me tell you. Can't score a try, and that's a green light. No doubt about the try being awarded, the Knights get first points. About 12 metres in from that eastern touchline. Strikes it nicely. And he's added the two extras. The Knights lead the Roosters. 6 nothing at the football stadium after eight. Phillips. Good take running back towards his own goal line. Good tackle as well from Fairley. Scything job. Minicello gives it to Fittler. Trying to spread it. Find some gaps on the edges because the Knights have been very solid up the middle of the ruck. Here is Burns. 15 metres on their own side of halfway. Hood from Benetti. Comes through the hands. Comes to Fletcher. Should have let that ball go then. Fletcher on the right hand side. Bad numbers. He gets it away at any rate. Here's Lamb stepping back inside them off the right foot. Straight through the forwards. Got it back to Luke Phillips. Needed one more. Singh was almost there. 20 out from the Knights line. They've got them on the rack. This should be 10 in the bin. And it is. Hughes goes 
goes to the sin bin for a professional foul. It was a fine break with Adrian Lamb. Well backed up by Phillips. You can see here, he's just waiting for his side to get back. He thought he let him go in time, but unfortunately, the referee saw otherwise. The Knights will be a man short for the next 10. Phillips hits it sweetly. And it's a four-point ball game. Newcastle six lead the Roosters two after 18 minutes. Up to this left-hand side they go. Kennedy. Here's Butterfield. Took it, bounced away from the tackle of Fletcher. Picked up by Rickardson. He went the best part of 20 metres, the captain. Badiris gives it away to Fairley. He runs it. Cusack dumps it off. It comes to Peter. He's wrapped up by Rickardson in cover once again. Sir Andrew Johns needs to get involved. Here he is at first receiver. Fires it to Matthew Johns. Under plenty of pressure from Fettler. No, no, never back. But he was up no, too quickly. Back. The Knights will try and take the two. And Tim Mander wants to speak to Brad Fittler. Tim Mander, I think, yeah. also wants to speak to somebody else. I am constantly calling you back on side, and you as well, Brad. The touch judges are telling me as well. They're talking to you, OK? I am listening to them. You are not back. Come back with me, OK? And they've been told in no uncertain terms. Well, why don't you just penalise them if they're not on side? He just has. They haven't played this time with the extra man all that well, the Roosters. And it has cost them another two points. Playing against 12 men. And they have spent most of the time since Hughes left the field back at this end of the field. Land to Fettler. Almost bust the line. Got a pass away to Fitzgibbon, who put it down. Speaking of players who've had an unhappy time with their hands, he's put down a couple of balls in these first 20 minutes, and there is Andrew Johns leaving the field. That's what I mean. I know he hasn't been 100%, but he, he wasn't getting involved in the last probably five to ten minutes of the game. And as soon as he spoke to that trainer, I just knew he, he was okay. He was gone. Can't keep giving Newcastle the ball in your, in your half, because I'll tell you what, they're going to make you play very shortly. I'm just wondering now whether the, the Roosters should possibly have a have the, a man as a, as a pivot and just have the players running off a pivot rather than trying to throw these long passes up inside their own 40. Gives it, gives it back to McDougall, grabbed by the jumper, only just. Tackle that needed to be made, it was made by Phillips. Here's Parsons angling back in behind the ruck. Andrew Johns comes back from the dressing rooms. O'Davis flings a pass. Played it with his foot by Matthew Johns, he picked it up eventually. Peden waits a dummy half. Fairly. Just steamrolled Adrian Lamb. It's the theme of the night so far. The metres the forwards have made for Newcastle. Tahu. Going to do a similar job on Adrian Lamb. I think he's in a Jackie Chan movie at the moment. A ball into the end goal. Gidley flying through. Tim Mandel likes it. They've scored their second. It's a result of all the pressure they've had, just continually forcing the Roosters backwards, and they just weren't looking for the ball. Rolled into the end goal from Madeiras. Oh, it's a great play there by Deiris. Nothing really happening that much on that right-hand side, but watch him get the ball onto his left foot there, puts it through. Gidley knew it was on straight away, puts it over the try line. As you said, the amount of pressure and the amount of ball they had have, they certainly had to come up with the points. See Andrew Johns here just with the head going. Right? Probably stays up in the Warren Ryan. Probably find out whether he's fit enough to go on and play the game. But I think with this scoreline, he'll probably stay on the sideline. A lot may depend on this kick, too. He hits it nicely, though it won't hook back enough from Robbie O'Davis. Plenty of length. The Knights are doing it nicely. They lead the Roosters 12 points to two. They have made a couple of inroads, but every time they do, they drop a ball at the end of a set of six. Rickardson, great pass away to Phillips. 
35 metres out, he dropped it. And you had the hand hands in, in the ruck. Yes, you did, and he dropped it. He dropped it because you had your hand in there. They had a roll on once again, you know, and it could have been easily to send, easy for Tim Mander, that is, to send grief to the bin. And there's his hand on the ball just there, and then he drops the ball after he let it go. But the big thing about the Roosters there, they needed more backup. They were making the breaks, and they're offloading, but at the last minute, when they got caught then, someone needed to get on the outside of them. Yeah. They need more backup, Brad. Yeah, that's right. I mean, they're having one player as a backup player, and no one's backing him up. So they're, they're getting the half break. The player gets through the break, and there's no one left. So they'll have six tackles. Inside the Knights 20, Ruben will see if they can hang on to it for six tackles. That's their first mission. Benetti to Fittler at first receiver. Sends it on the inside for Nelson Lomme. About 12 metres out. Fittler again with Lamb outside him. As Fletcher goes past Fletcher, gives it to Matt Singh. They've gone three tackles and score. If they can hang on to the ball, they're a chance in this game. Some worrying signs for the Knights. The previous set of six tackles before the penalty. The Roosters made some huge metres down the middle of the ground and they've cracked. And one of the few times they've had to withstand some Roosters pressure. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, it was great work by Adrian Land too. Went to the line, held it up at the last minute. But what about Matt Singh? He had a little right foot step, a little in and away on the left foot and he just hits the hole at 100 mile bang. See you later, boys. Time to go. For the first time in the game, the Roosters fans find their voice. Phillips hits it nicely, curling back over the black dot. It's 12-8. 36 seconds left. Tim Manda has called timeout as the Knights were taking an eternity to get to the scrum. Was that the siren I heard? Something went off. Okay. Let's get the formation. I thought it might have been an in the crowd again. He's here, he's here. Are we in the stadium? <laughs> Here's Fiddler, flat pass to Phillips. Tackled by O'Davis, who was playing up in the line. Burns. Trying to pivot in the tackle. We'll play it back to Benetti. Back out there now. Lamb. Players left and right. The timing wasn't there on the play, and Hood ended up with it, but he was travelling nowhere when he took the pass. Fiddler. Standing close at first receiver, will go to the air. Some pressure coming up for McDougal. Phillips almost came up down. with it. Knocked down by Luke Phillips. He knocked it on. And that will end the first half. The internet is a strange place. Who knows what we'll be watching next? Cat videos? Court dramas? Court dramas with cats in them? How does your client plead? But no matter how strange things get, Foxtel Broadband has your back. Plus, it's reliable, so you know you're in a safe pair of hands. Unlike this guy. Foxtel Broadband. Fast, affordable, reliable broadband for whatever we're watching next. Get ready. For a feeling you can't quite describe. The T-Rock R. It's an R thing. Not a scratch. How'd it go? Super. Make every drive super with the best performing oils at Super Cheap Auto. My morning starts here with an experience that's unforgettable. A precise roast and a generous crema. Taste the unforgettable. Enjoy free standard delivery on orders over 100 capsules. Nespresso. Before making a trade, check out Plus Insights, the new trading tool on Plus 500. Um, I'll explain. It's like choosing a seat on a flight. Plus, having crucial information. Speak. I'm kissing on row four. Uh, can I get as far away from row four as possible? Exclusive on Plus 500, Plus Insights, turning data into trading insights. Plus 500, it's trading with a plus. Download the app.
can quit wondering if the smartest SUV is a Skoda. The Skoda SUV range is award-winning. Plural. And it now comes with a seven-year warranty. Foxtel Rewards is giving you access to Pink's Summer Carnival 2024. Get access to reserved tickets now at foxtel.com.au forward slash music. Don't miss your chance to see Pink live in stadiums across Australia. And join Foxtel Rewards today. For 40 minutes, it promises to be. Very important game for both sides. The Roosters need a win to put themselves back inside the top eight. The Knights can take outright third position with a victory here this evening. Butterfield. Bring up some good metres on the second hit-up. Kennedy is well held in that first half, although it's a step on there, and it took a good tackle from Fletcher to stop him. Here is Fairley. Running a long way before the Roosters' defensive line got to him. He offloaded yet again. It came back to O'Davis through Matthew Johns and now Kennedy. Adrian Lamb has spent a lot of time watching forwards run at him. Here's Butterfield. Big game in this first set of six. You just dropped that. No, yeah. you've just dropped it. Butterfield has put it down on the last play of the ball. Tony, you just stand there, mate, and just drop the ball. <laughs> 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 he certainly was big. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Tony Butterfield, when the referee blew that up, he was going to absolutely do his stack, but he thought the better of you thought he'd get the referee just by his legs up and have a bit of a chat talk. L's good. <laughs> just on 90 seconds gone in the second half. 12 8, Newcastle lead the Roosters. Fitzgibbon has been injured in this tackle. He took a heavy knock. I think Butterfield coming over the top there. He's cracked them straight around the, the nose region. And before that tackle, it was a night that Craig Fitzgibbon would like to forget. And right now, he might not be able to remember anything. He's in a fair bit of discomfort, isn't he? It's 15 tackles so far, eight hit ups. No offloads, but he has put the ball down a number of times. and. The referee now is calling Tony Butterfield over. I'll tell you what, if the player goes off the way that he is, I think he'll be gone. Yep. Let's wait for it. He's waiting for Fitzgibbon to leave the field. Now, Tim Mander has taken an eternity. You have come over the top there, OK? Now, I was not sure of the point of contact. I'm actually going to put that on report, OK? And it's going to be a penalty, OK? It's going to be a penalty. I'm sure that Tim Mander has had a word from his video referee. Hughes will play it. Here's Fairley. So a number of offloads in this game. From Matthew Johns. Oh, the Knights have replied. The counter-attack from Fittler. He picked it up on the burst. Came to O'Davis who picked him up. But they're at the Knights 20. O'Davis, it could have easily been a penalty. Play on is the call. Burns to the Newcastle 10. Danny waiting for it. We'll give it to Fittler again. Fletcher, Lamb. Took them on, was tackled by Butterfield. Once again, another great chance for the Roosters. Here's Fletcher playing at first receiver. Cusack will take it towards the post. The Knights doing a good job of slowing the play, the ball down again. Fletcher in, it, Fletcher in it first receiver. And now they get the penalty for the Knights being up inside the 10. I get the mark. Mate, Here's what we can do here. Front. Get back in the line, David. First thing I do is get the ball from the that bloke there and bring it back <laughs> from Birds and tap it. You don't need to kick it out here. What they can do actually do here is walk back on the mark and take and the ball back 15 metres. Why do they do that? Why do players continually do that? It's, no it's, it's astounding. Here's Ruben. They certainly weren't, weren't setting it up for any particular play. But it's for one up. Fittler to Cusack. 
the Knights clinging to this four-point lead, but for how long? Benetti waits. Gives it off to Fiddler. To Lamb. Turning it back for Rickardson. Not much happening in the right-hand side for the Roosters. Kennedy forcing the lock forward backwards. Lamb. Those options inside and outside. Fletcher was angling up. Looking to hit a gap just behind the ruck. Now he stands at first receiver again. Benetti, though, goes himself from dummy half. One more tackle. Will they go to the air? Fettler stepping. Left foot, right foot. So strong, close to the line. The ball came out or was dropped forward by Fettler. Well, so that's what he had to do. He has to go to the line. He needs players around there to take away the defenders. He's going, darting and weaving. He just needs players on the edges watching him. Look, he goes in between. Jack Ellsworth comes up at the last second. They've got to get their fraction earlier. And there's the knock on. Butterfield waits. McDougal. Oh, good front on tackle from Fittler. Minicello down low. Hasn't there been some willing stuff in this game? Simpson. I think both sides know why and how important it is to get the two points. Either go third for the Knights or jump in the top eight, the Roosters. It's early in the season and it's an old cliche, but dare I say it, almost a semi-final atmosphere to this one. Oh, this is a great game of football. Peter, oh, great ball. Kennedy into a huge gap. Has support coming. Hughes outside him, draws the fullback and gets there himself to score for the Knights. What a run by the second rower. It came from nothing. A hole on the left-hand side of the field. He poured through it, had plenty of support, but didn't need it. Well, this is this is a great pass by Billy Peden. Straight through the gap. Showed plenty of confidence in his own ability. He had many on the outside. Through the dummy, the little step off the left. Went over for a very good try. Adrian Lamb is the man who came in and there. He hit the Veggie stay out. He had Rickardson inside him. But look, the man puts a ball in two hands, confuses the fullback. What's he going to do? I'm going to take it all the way there. Run 25 metres, not a problem. Look at the excitement. He knows that could be the match, match winner. Warren Ryan looking on from above. Oh, Davis from close range adds the extras. And it's a comfortable battle once again for the Knights. They lead the Roosters 18 points to 8. Time is the enemy of the Roosters. Just over six minutes left. And they're 10 down. Lamb! Oh, ankle tapped. McDougall was the last one of defence. He was there to make a tackle if needed, but he wasn't called upon. Here's Singh grabbing it. McDougall, very brave, went to ground and knocked it on. Now the ball's been thrown away. This is where I like to see the clock stop by the referee because Newcastle now are wasting time. Great work, Maxine here, going to the line. This is the Adrian Lamb bust there. Through the dummy inside. Lucky ankle tap there. Ben Kennedy comes over to make the tackle. Straight after that, he sees there's nobody at home. I'm going through and just oh, puts his body on the line. How every player here to, has done here tonight. 34 of them. Take a blanket around and make them throw some extra cash into it. They deserve to pay double for what they've seen tonight okay, here, the fans at the formation. Sydney Football Stadium. It's been physical. There's been great football. Nice easy, ben, get in Interesting there, tonight here, seeing at the lock position. Fettler oh, will tired. score to give the Roosters a chance. From the scrum, we have five and a half minutes left. He's an amazing player. And he has given them some glimmer of hope. Just watch how tired the Newcastle players are. He just runs a little bit wide, does Freddie Fiddler. They just couldn't get to him. That's inspirational stuff from their captain. The lead by example, take them on at 100 mile an hour. And that's his first try for the year. It's taken him until round number nine. Now here is Craig Fitzgibbon. How tough is he? Well, we told you earlier he would take no further part in the game because he had a broken jaw. The Roosters trainers have said, well, you can't do any further damage to it. We need you. <laughs> and he is out there putting them within range in this final five minutes here at the football stadium. Benetti links up with Lamb. Has Miles outside him. He has been damaging with the ball. Last tackle. 
They need it back. They need to get it back in their hands somehow. Fiddler kicks very high. Beautifully weighted kick because Beckett took the ball after he left the air from the field of play. They will get it back. A centimetre perfect kick from Brad Fiddler. And the Knights will be desperate to hang on. They lead by four and the Roosters are going to come at them. Well, if there's one side that can to score two tries, it is the Roosters. The referees now notice they're taking their time, but this is the kick from Brad Fittler. Beckett does a great job and a correct decision there. Great work, Tim Mander. Graham Murray now looks on. He knows his side is in rage now. Or hammering the home and maybe coming up with a try. Oh. A huge goal line dropout, and that's all you can do if you're a coach of either of these teams now, is just look on and let them play it out. The Roosters. Bring it forward with Dallas Hood. 32 out from the Newcastle line. Benetti gives it to Lamb. Fitzgibbon counts it forward. A strong tackle over the top from Parsons. No, 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 but they were up too no, quickly. No, wait. Wait. Get that down. That was right across there. Get that down. The tackle was too high. Fittler taps it and plays on. Burns looks to his right-hand side. Just counts it forward. The Knights are out on their feet. Benetti, Fittler to the left-hand side. Fires it to Robin Miles, reaches out and scores the try that ties this ball game up. And Fitzgibbon will have the chance to win the game for the Sydney Roosters with a broken jaw. Oh, what a great of football. I wasn't too sure about that tackle. That pass is made on Fitzgibbons, and I still maintain. I think that tackle was all right. It was a very heavy tackle, but that should have been just play on. They took it to the, the numbers here. Brad Fittler once again going to the line. Look at him holding the ball. Miles hits the ball on the outside, gets through Billy Peter, gets it over the line. And as you said, now look at this. He runs it beautiful. Tamata Tahu was going out. He had to stay with his man. Nothing else he could have done. He has been dynamic. Now, Craig Fitzgibbon. What a story this is. One from one tonight. If he can make it two from two, they will chair him off the field. If he misses, I hope they make them play extra time. This deserves an encore. Nine metres in from this Western touchline, and the Roosters fans will tell the story for you. He has it, and it is there! Craig Fitzgibbon kicks the goal that puts the Roosters in front. We have 13 seconds left in this game. What an incredible comeback from the Sydney Roosters. The short kickoff from Newcastle, and that will be all. They have said that this is a club that has no soul. Well, they have laid that claim to rest quite possibly forever here tonight on the grass of the Sydney Football Stadium.